Hello everybody, this is Wolfkin Northclaw back again in the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Hi Val. Played my uh, Kenji, uh, Azid Oblon. My notice his face is a bit different. Different eyes, no horns, and he's got some scarring too. Well, if you have a, if you have the uh, Kijit mod and you're trying to change their appearance, here's what I found works. Go to powers, go and choose to grow shrink. Power, which basically will turn your Kiji into a Kaji, or if you have a Kaji, you can get that power and change your Kaji into a Kiji whenever you want. Yeah. And uh, so, you have uh, used to grow shrink a uh, uh, le uh, lesser power. Then you go talk to the uh, face sculptor in the ragged flagon. Change the face how you want, and then you can just use the power again. Then you turn back to on the kid G af afterwards, and you can go reset. But in, in, in you. That's not the point of this, of this video. The point is, is a mod. One that I looked at before, but I idiotically I uh, didn't bother to. <laughs> I didn't bother to use the light source inside, so it was too dark. The Valley of Mara Priory. I thought I would take a look at it again. This time I'll use uh, the rings inside to so you'll find folks watching this watching this video will be able to see it. The last time I had no master the bloody take a look at it. Well this time I'm gonna have uh Azid Oblon take a look at it. He's got a uh, red guard uh, remnant armor on his part of a creation kit. Creation kit material. Aww. He has the chickens. Got the little coop there. Very pretty. Alright. We go over here. Beautiful tree right there. Here you got a little lookout spot here. Did they change this or? I remember there being a forge uh, on the uh, on the outside. Oh, maybe that was over here. All right, sorry, it's been a long time since I've taken a little look at this. And yes, I should have went and watched the video. <laughs> okay, I hope you can see everything all, all, all right here. Forge outside here, and a chest. A couple of things inside there for the hearthside deal and DLC. Got a regular forge and a smelter. And one heck of a view. Wow. There's a master. One heck of a view right there. Right. 
going to wait an hour for that to fade out. Very good. All right. Wonderful. Let's take, take a look inside. All right. I hope you folks can see that all right. in the lab. I hope that is light enough for everybody to see. Alright, I hope that's good, good for, for everyone. Now everyone can see just fine. Really nice alchemy table there. Or allocated okay, chances, sorry. Nice statue of Mara there. Take a look upstairs. Ah, the curse box. There's a follower's bedroom here. to place items in there if I in, in the in yourself. Video was perfectly visible for everybody. I enjoyed bringing it to you again. I really like this mod. I think it's very pretty. Very nice. There is one last spot to take a look at. Take a look, take a look at the roof. There's a big old shrine of Mara right there. I'm gonna leave you with that view. It's 
really pretty. Uh, the, this was the valley of Mara Priory. The Yellow School is Five Skyrim. It's located right here in a solitude. Literally just it's right near the uh, the, the uh, lighthouse. Just, I, I just about, you know, it's like near the docks. There's the docks right there's Catless Farm, East Empire Company Warehouse, and the Valley of Mara Priory. There's so much either. So, anyway, hope you liked it. Take care. See you guys in the next one. Peace.